So first question for you guys. I mean, starting up the Red Storm and just kind of getting a rejuvenizing like vibe to the student section. What that's like, what is that like for both of you to just kind of try to start that back up and get that type of student section vibe back up in the games? Um, I think for me, since COVID, it's kind of um, we've seen numbers being down from the student section and just finding different ways to kind of implement more students being there and getting excited for Ferris Athletics is like a really big part for us just because it's exciting to be a part of such great programs and we want other people to be excited about it too. Yeah, I agree with that. And I also I think that we have a lot of great programs here that are very successful. I mean, football back-to-back -back national champions, soccer last year being in the final four. Uh, we have some great programs here and I think like students kind of miss out on that a little bit. So we kind of want to bring that back, that energy, that pride and like the sports and like being successful. I mean, it's a huge part of our community. For sure, and the Red Storm being more of a, a new idea, right? Coming in this first year academic year in its debut, uh, what was the process of being able to come together and say, hey, like this is our idea, let's make this a club, and then finally get the pen to paper and now have an official club here on campus? Yeah, so we spent a lot of the summer kind of brainstorming um, different ideas and like ideas of what we want to do. We talked to people from other universities that kind of have the same idea going on at their schools and just kind of figured out what would be best for us and where we could succeed most. And I, I'd say we spent most of the summer talking about it and planning for it and finding different things that we could do that would make it work for us. Yeah, I definitely say uh, it's, it takes a lot of time to think about these things because what's hard about it is like there's not a lot of like D2 programs or D2 schools in general that kind of pursue that idea of getting like a student fan engagement club going. So it gives us like a blank canvas and now we have to fill it with you know, like different shapes and colors and ideas. So it, it's as much as it's intriguing and fun to do, there's definitely some hard challenges that we have to solve, but um, yeah, it's it's great. Yeah, but I mean, that's the nice thing you get to kind of just build it from the ground up. What's it like though, especially for you two being co-presidents, what's that like kind of working with other people within the club and just making it so that way it's a lot of collaboration to just have that success? Um, I think from what I've seen so far, a lot of the students have been really excited and you know, they'll come up to me at games or I see them on campus and they know who I am. So they'll be like, oh, hey, Lydia, you know, it's I feel like that's also a really good part of it because, you know, we're we're also as like co-presidents meeting different people and like students that we usually probably would not interact with. And I feel like it's great in sports, but also just on campus in general, like you're seeing them and like in your classes and stuff. And that's also really exciting. Yeah, it gives them like a familiar face they can kind of like relate to and it just like just in general, like the idea of having some common grounds and like having the chance to like connect with people on campus, whether you're a freshman or a senior. And, you know, uh, I know it's always tough to make new friends especially with COVID and stuff, but it's kind of nice to have that kind of going for us.